So in the last two Snare Saturday videos, I've been showing you Ludwig Acrylites. The first one was from the late 60s, the next one was from the late 70s. Well, in this video, I am going to show you one that is a little bit younger from the late 90s or early 2000s. And in my opinion, is the coolest looking one. What's up everybody, Nick Costa here, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the Black Galaxy Ludwig Acrylite. This is the student model snare drum that everybody has come to know and love. The difference is, is that it has a cool black galaxy finish. And I don't know about you, but that finish is the reason why my parents and I picked this drum out when I decided to start taking drum lessons in fourth grade. Now, before we dive into this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification. That way you're notified of any additional content that I upload to the channel. Now, once again, brief history on the Ludwig Acrylite. This drum was designed to be a more affordable option for students and schools. Now with the original Acrylite, Ludwig took a Superphonic, a chrome over aluminum drum. They got rid of the chrome plating and instead of it being 10 lugs, brought it down to eight lugs. By removing that chrome finish and two lugs from the drum, they were able to lower the production cost to then offer the drum at a more affordable option for students and schools. This is the reason why if you are searching for an Acrylite, most of the time you'll see that they are coming with cases, sometimes drumsticks, a snare stand, even a methods book. So the drum that I am showing you today is a little near and dear to my heart because this is the first snare drum that I ever had. Now the difference is, is that my very first drum, which I still have, is the one that I decided it would be a good idea to drill four two and a half inch vents in when I was in high school. And that was because I was a huge fan of Orange County drums and percussion, and I wanted to have that sound. Now fast forward to when I was in college around 2007, 2008, somebody was selling the same exact drum on Craigslist for $60. So I said to myself, I might as well get one that I haven't drilled a bunch of holes into and is original because they are really good sounding drums. Now from what I read online, the Black Galaxy Acrylite is a similar shell, however it is black powder coated. But I am always trying to be cautious and not give out misinformation. So if that is incorrect, or if you know the exact reasoning why this finish is the way that it is, please make sure that you leave that in the comment section below, because the last thing I wanna do is misinform people. Now, just like all of the other Acrylites, this is a five by 14 aluminum shell. It's got eight double-sided bow tie lugs, and it has a Ludwig P85 throw off from this era. So rather than having the black front with silver Ludwig script, it is a completely silver throw off. And once again, if you have experienced this throw off, then you are well aware of it. And let's just say I'm really happy that Ludwig designed the new P88 to fit in its place. Now, when I bought this drum, it was in really good shape. It was just really dirty. So I cleaned the drum up, made sure that everything was working. I installed the drum heads of my choice, which are a Remo Ambassador X coated on the top and a Remo Ambassador snare side on the bottom. Now for snare wires, I did put a set of World Max German snare wires because for the price, they sound really good. Now this drum does have an internal muffle just like the other Acrylites did. It's the round puck version and it also has a round knob on the outside. So just like every other Snare Saturday video, I'm going to play this drum through a few different tunings. And while I'm in each tuning, I will start out with the internal muffle disengaged and then engage it so you can hear the difference that it makes. So enough of me talking. Let's dive into playing.
So it's safe to say with the last three Snare Saturday videos, you have seen Acro lights from the late 60s, the late 70s, and now the late 90s or early 2000s. So the big question is, is there a drastic difference in sound between them? Now, if you've watched all three, feel free to leave that in the comment section below. And if you haven't, maybe that's gonna be the next Snare Saturday, comparing all three. But either way, I would love to get your feedback on what you thought of this drum. So make sure that you leave it in the comment section below, letting me know. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see the earlier Snare Saturday videos, I put a link to the playlist in the description below. I'll also make it a little bit easier for you and have it pop up right here. Now, if you've made that decision that you want to get an Acrolyte for your collection and you want it to be a vintage model, but you're unsure of which one to get, feel free to ask the questions in the comment section below as well, and I'll try my best to answer them. Finally, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up. That way it makes it a little bit easier for others to find it. And that is it. Thank you so much for checking out this video on the late 90s or early 2000s Ludwig Acrolyte. And until next time, see you later.